So we've added a new feature to the Ember app called Amplify. It's an image processing technique designed to amplify and enhance movement in a frame for easier visual recognition. This tool can be used to highlight resonance in mechanical mechanisms. For example, here at FreeFly, we commonly use it to inspect our drone frames for vibration, and it can really speed up the process, saving sometimes days or weeks worth of work. So to get started, I want to go over some best practices with Amplify. There are two key features here. It's important to make sure that your subject is lit well. You don't want much noise because the amplifying algorithm will amplify that. And also you want to lock off your camera as best as you can. So a tripod is the best way to do that. We suggest shooting five to 20 times faster than the frequency you're trying to analyze. You can always speed up the footage in post, so it's best to just shoot way over if you don't know the frequency you're looking for. Having a machine that can handle this algorithm is important. So for today, I'm using an M1 Max for the demos. The applications on iOS also support it, but of course it's gonna be slower with less horsepower. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I'll show you how to amplify a clip on the OS X app. So the first step is to go ahead and download the app from the App Store. Once you have the app open and running, you need to select where we're pulling footage from. It doesn't need to be on the Ember, it can be anywhere on the computer, but you just direct the app to the folder you wanna pull footage from. Then we go down here to the little play button, which opens up our gallery. I've selected a few clips that I'd like to show off today. We'll go ahead and start with this viola clip. Now you can either use ins and outs or you can just amplify the whole clip together. Ins and outs can of course be set by setting a marker, an in and out for I and O on your keyboard. We'll drag this out point out a little bit. And then just to the right of the marker, there's this little gear icon that will open up the tools menu. You can also select the tools from up here. We have stabilize and amplify. By default, it's off, so you need to turn it on. And then there's scale, frequency, and gain. Scale determines the size of the motion that is considered for motion amplification. Small movement is at the low end, or zero, and large features are at the top end, or eight. Good results can be usually obtained by leaving the default settings of zero and eight. Gain is the amount of amplification applied to this motion. Too high can cause gain noise and unwanted artifacts to appear. The gain of one is equivalent to amplify being turned off. Frequency is the range over which the motion amplification is applied. This can be tweaked and tuned until the desired result is achieved. Or if you know the frequency of what you're looking for in the footage, you can just easily select it here. So after tweaking and tuning these settings and getting your desired result, you can see we do have a lot of vibration going on in this string. For example, here's with amplify on, and here's with amplify off. And back on, and back off. Let's do another one just to show you how this works on a different clip. Here's a shot of what I believe is a heating unit. When we play it without amplify, it appears as if it's a still frame. There's nothing going on here. But when we apply Amplify, you can actually see there's a ton of movement going on here. This whole duct is shaking, the pipes are wiggling, all these cables are wiggling as well. It's probably why they connected this gas line here with the flexible tube so that it doesn't flex and break over time. As I mentioned, a common use case for this at FreeFly is tuning drone frames and figuring out exactly where the vibration is coming from. Here's a recent project of mine. It's a lightweight ember on top of a seven inch vulture. Without struts, you can see how much motion is going on here with Amplify. These booms are torsioning pretty significantly, causing shakes in the high speed footage of ember. When we add struts, same Amplify settings, there's still a slight bit of movement, but you can see how much less there is by adding this mechanical structure along here. This could take weeks without this tool. Instead, it's just a couple minutes of filming your drone, amplifying it, and figuring out exactly where you need to apply strength to the frame. If you want this in written form, find it on our wiki where we have a bunch of details going over Amplify. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out to support at freeflysystems.com. We'll be happy to answer your questions and discuss any cool new projects we're working on. Have a good day.